All right. First off, I want to say shalom to the brothers and sisters. Um, I thought before we go into the lesson that I would give a heads up uh, of what's going on in the states and, and other areas. And you know, when, when I hear about things through other brothers, oh no, right now I'm not in, in the United Kingdom. So no, I'm going to talk about that too, but I'm not, I'm not in the United Kingdom right now, okay? All right, so no, I'm not in Europe right now. All right, so, but let me let me discuss this. Um, but we're going to discuss what's going on in the UK, and I'm sure there's some brothers and sisters in here that are from the UK. We're going to talk about it. We have a lot of brothers and sisters who are who have come to Christ and who are standing up, standing for truth. And it's no coincidence that right after we talked about what would happen there. Of course, it's happening there, not because we're any type of procrastinators or, or know the future, okay? It's what the Bible says. So, hopefully, people can see that the Bible is true and come back to the Most High and join the, the winning team. So, that's what it's about. But, let me talk about, uh, first, uh, uh, years ago, we were discussing that that uh, it tell you in Matthew 10 and 34 that your foes shall be they of your own household. Read that for me real quick. Uh, Matthew 10 and 34 where, where, where Christ says, Think not that I've come to send peace on earth. Read that. St. Matthew chapter 10 verse 34. Read. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against right. her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foe shall be they of his own household. It says what? And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. It says a man's foes shall be they of his own household. And what does, it, does that mean? The disciples is asking Christ, when shall the end come? And Christ made a distinctive, uh, a distinctive uh, statement by saying, well, here's a sign. The enemies of Christ and the enemies that you will encounter will be they of your own household. What's up with this camera here? We're going to get a better camera. This camera does what it wants to do sometimes. I apologize. It's okay. It says, The enemies shall be they of your own household. So that's a sign of the end. Let's give another example. Read. Verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. So if you have someone that's dealing with Christ or the truth about Christ or understand what's really going on according to the Bible, his father may become his enemy in the house. Suppose his father is a Catholic or a Baptist or dealing with the Jehovah Witness or something or, or some other slave religion that was given to him uh, from his forefathers uh, as far as... Uh, uh, that have been handed down through captivity. So here it is, the son come home and say, I found out who we are and the fact that the world is fighting against us and we have to do things based on the Most High to be under His grace, then you will have the father looking at his son like he's crazy. Right? Because, why? Because the son is not following the religion that was handed down from his father. So this is what it's showing here. Christ says, he came to send a sword, not peace. So the truth severed those in the truth from those who are following a lie. Read. And the daughter against her mother. A daughter against her mother, read. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Read. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. It says a man's enemy shall be they of his own household. Now think about this. 
Think about this now. Going back to the original premise, uh, without saying any names, because I, I would never do anything like that, there's someone who was uh, excited about the word, went and told their uh, family about the word, and told the family that a lot might be happening in, in these Western world places, and we need to try to start making our way into areas th that would be less threatening. Well, automatically, when that happened, the mother and the mother considered that her child or her son was dealing with a cult religion. Because nothing should, you have to realize you taught in America that, you know, anything anti-government or even though the government can be shooting with vaccinations and killing you, even though the government can actually kill people to set up a government, none of that doesn't matter. But the same government will tell you that if you're not following the paid religions in which we have the pastors and preachers in our pocket to teach pro-government, then everything else is a cult. Okay, if someone is talking about traveling around the world, especially minorities, then you must be in a cult. But I'm going to show you the slavery of our people. By traveling the world, it's ironic that I see all ethnicity of people, especially Caucasians and Asians, all over the earth. And it's not out of place. I mean, it's normal. You wouldn't be reporting a white person to travel into another country or an Asian person to travel into another country. Why? Because they do that. But no soon as a slave think outside of his plantation or his boundaries. These are fair tactics to keep the slaves still. So here it is. They got the uh, uh, see something, say something campaigns in the United States. And that's totally ridiculous because the only terrorist is government. People are not trying to blow nothing up. People are not trying to go after no government buildings. People are not, people are not thinking of anything like Citizens are not thinking about anything like that. Bin Laden was a lie. Uh, 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 the 911 was a joke. They implored their own buildings to go to war that would ultimately lead to us being destroyed. But if you speak about anything that's every, speak about the things that everyone know, it's a cult. So that's why I say you brothers and sisters have to be careful what y'all say. You have to be careful what you say and how you say it. Because if you go to your family and all gung-ho with the truth, they are interpreting what you're saying 100% wrong. They're going to try to get you on medication, drugged up. They're going to try to put you under the government. Christ says the enemies shall be they of your own household. But listen, the story don't end there. The mother calls FBI and Homeland Security comes in for a visit. Now it's ironic that if people of color talk about going to another country or going someplace outside of their slave plantation, automatically Homeland Security comes to talk to the family and wanted to seize the brother's hard drive 